Mary, Hart Mary Hartman, which yeah. I love. That's what they meant to me. Yeah. Their dad was the later ones about the Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's great. <laughs> so you guys got to go more for the, the, the weirder straight ones as opposed to something like so where it's like, where that was I like never saw so. No. Never saw an episode of so. It's one of the show. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I always read things about it. I just never, I don't know, somehow I missed it. So when you want to laugh, who do you guys turn to as far as seeking humor in other people's work? Who do you go to to make you laugh? I like Bill Maher. He makes me laugh. Um, Louis C.K. show really makes me laugh. Um, as far as what's on TV now that I can think of as in my head. Um, no, I always that anytime that question's asked, I just like, you know, I know you do. I was thinking laughing. And then I'll watch the thing like, okay, I don't want to remember this. Mm -hmm. So I'll say it then. But, um, but I think, the, I mean, like Amy and Pat and really, I mean, I've laughed so hard just in the one episode that I watched of this that we, we got to see one episode. And um, it was Crazy, really, right? the otter, really awesome. That otter thing is, oh my God. Disgusting. <laughs> I couldn't believe he had to do that. I mean, yeah, I mean like, yeah. Uh, so you're taking Kristen's place this season? Mm -hmm. uh, is it explained on the show, or is it just like a bewitched thing where you're daring? I don't believe it. No, it's not explained. Okay. It's like bewitched, yeah. <laughs> you're the new daring. Yeah, I'm the new daring. The new team. <laughs> um, what's that like as, as an actor stepping into a role that someone else has already held? Um, it, it's, it's pretty hard. Again, it's like theater when you're yeah. understudy and then you have to do the part. But um, we're just so different. Yeah, there's no way I could do her. So, you know, Vernon and John, you know, help with that. You know, is this what it is? And he's like, you can, you're actually going to be as bad as, you know, so I didn't have to worry about that, okay. which is a lot. And I love costumes and fake teeth and, you know, all that I, I really get into. So I just trusted them. Yeah, a lot of that could help, like, help an actor bring out the what what was your favorite costume piece that you wore this season? Oh God! Well, I'll tell you the one I hated the most. It's a it's a short red dress with the sides cut out, and then I wore a bra. I, whatever. I that dress drove me crazy. <laughs> and every time I was like, that I have to wear that today. Are there are there any other roles you'd like to take? <laughs> <laughs> I called her before I did it and asked her, you know, we talked about yeah. it, and she gave me some motivation and stuff, and, um, so, and I'm just a big fan of her. Yeah. So. so what guest stars would you both like to see on the shows this season? What guest stars would, we yeah. would you like to see on the show? Or what, who do you have coming up, and who would you like to have as a guest star that you have not had yet? Oh. Mm. It would be fun to have like. I mean, we've already shot the, the last one, but the, the upcoming ones, maybe like a Lily Tomlin. Um, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> she was like one of the aunts or something. Yeah, like Jessica Lange. <laughs> <laughs> Jessica Lange is our aunt. <laughs> that one might be hard. Yeah, that would on a very special episode. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> very, very special. But they could do like the, Tupac. I mean, the, the, like, Tupac. The, the hologram. The Walter did. Yeah. <laughs> um, at gonzogeek.com, we like to ask everyone we interview uh, what you in particular geek out about. Be what do I geek out about? Yes. Wow. I geek out about? <laughs> Way to kill the interview, huh? Yeah, Dad. Yeah. See you guys later. Cut. Well, I, I, geek, I geek out about um, props. I'm a prop geek, and you know, to get, I mean, I collect a lot of stuff like that. I'd say I can be kind of geeky about it. I mean, without thinking, that's what, you know, for the first thing that came to my head, but I don't know if that's really what you're talking about. No, I'm not a gadget geek or anything like that. You mean like props from TV shows and movies and things like that? I like, I like you know. Souvenirs? Or, you know, I like false teeth and I have a nice wig collection. I have a lot of props and homemade props in my house. Do you steal like, a lot of props from the shows? I don't steal any props from the shows. <laughs> <laughs> They're given to you, right? <laughs> <laughs> right. 
right? She throws a rock to distract them and runs away. <laughs> Are you cat? What do you think about? I think just deviant at the uh, crime stuff. Oh, yeah, you do. Uh, <laughs> I, remember, no, I remember saying it first day of Just, um, that's, but that's, it's not something that I can collect, you know, but, and I try to forget after I delve too deeply, but, uh, but yeah, that's, the, that's something that I can get into the minutia and the details of certain crime. Forensics. Forensics, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. big fan of true TV and all the I do, yeah. But not, I don't, I don't know, dramatization is something that I just care for Amy. You used to do Stranger with Candy. Candy. How does this compare? This situation compare? Is it a different kind of setting? I mean, is the, is the filmmaking so fast and furious? You don't get time to, or was it fast? Well, it's different because we created it. You know, we were constantly writing it and doing it at the same time. But it's the same as far as you felt like you were out in the woods doing a show and there weren't any grown ups around <laughs> and see what you get away with. You know what I mean? Yeah. And just tr do whatever you think is funny. So in that way, it was pretty much, that, that's the kind of show I like to do. And it's, it was hard to find a show, you know, that, that exists like that. You know, any other show I've been a guest star on, they don't, it hasn't been anything like this. Or anything like Strangers. Yeah. You know, there's so much freedom. Was it different being on uh, a show on the cast just as a cast member than, um, like, obviously your role in Strangers of Canada, you were, like, creating it and everything? Like, how, how is that different? Or, uh, and it, it's, it's different. I liked it, though. I mean, I like being like, where do you want me, Chief? You know, I'll stand here and, you know, say this line. And, you know, so I, I enjoyed it, you know. Um, but, I mean, it's a lot more fun, you know, when you can create it yourself and you do have more control like that but there's something nice about like again like doing a play where you just no one else wrote it and someone else directing it and you're saying these lines and it's kind of nice you don't have to do all that work you have to stay up you know we still have to write that baby scene you're like oh my god <laughs> you uh last question guys last question um you talked a lot about doing uh, plays and everything what's the, the process like um how does it differ from, from being on stage and being in front of a camera? Well, shooting this, there wasn't much of a difference, to tell you the truth. You just didn't have to talk as loud to reach the last audience, or the old people, you yeah. know, if it's, you know, <laughs> matinee day. But um, but it did feel like that a lot of times, like doing the play. So, I mean, I know I probably performed like it was that way. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's what I had in my head. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.